Hi all, welcome to Pantech eLearn. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Now, if the same thing you want to see in 2D means we can make it like this. So this is nothing but scene conversion, 2D view to 3D view. So this is hand tool. This is rotation tool. So if you want to rotate any of the object means so like this. And here we can see that particular view. So I am rotating this camera I mean then only we will be able to see that particular rotation point. So this function is known as main camera here which it plays a major role to display all the particular views after the particular conversion point. A person's view here it is deciding with the help of this main camera only. The same main camera will be replaced once when we start with augmented reality as an AR camera into this. So if I just uh, click on green means it will be moving to this particular direction. If I am clicking on red means it moves for the x axis direction, green means y axis, blue for z axis. The next thing is for scale tool. We want to increase the size. So, here for camera, we won't be able to increase any of the size. Any other objects we will be able to increase. So here so I am taking this means I can increase the size. Okay, so this is nothing but scaling tool. This is for rectangle tool, just to select any of the objects. That option is available even when we are working with this move tool. And this is to rotate scale for selected objects, not for all the thing. If you are selecting a group of objects means it can be rotated simultaneously. This is for setting tool or editor tool. Now the same thing if I'm using move tool means. So like this in all the axis I can move. So this is nothing but known as main camera as well as tools, which is most of them we are using for alignment or designing, moving, uh, changing the size, etc. Now after this, the next thing is our uh, common menu only like file, edit, assets, game object, component, window, etc. So here we first thing after opening a particular uh, unity, we have to go for build settings. So inside this build settings only, here we will be uh, creating or making the environment for our required part. So this is the normal installed one, which comes under for PC, Mac and Linux standalone. So here I can select uh, the windows as OS. Since we are using windows, it automatically gets deducted and only it is available. The next thing uh, here it is, we have to select either it is 32 or 64. So here 86 and 64 is one pack and uh, 32 is for another pack. 
So any one option we can select. Here it is 64. So we are going for 64 one. Similarly, we can move on to the iOS. After selecting this iOS, if you are going to uh, build the app inside the iOS means, then you have to go for that and click on switch platform. So it takes some time to switch it up over there. Now it has switched. So here we can take that uh, Xcode or debug section, then uh, development build, or if you want to compress this particular app means that is also possible. Okay. The next for Android. And uh, inside this iOS also we have some kind of part. So for which uh, platform we have selected means in that platform also we have some editings to do go for player settings so inside the player settings means if you want to provide an icon for that uh, app means here we can upload okay so here that particular icons can be uploaded any designed icon uh, is it for iphone or is it for ipad like that separate sections are there then the spotlight so the required spotlight for iPhone, then settings icon. So for iPhone or iPad, both it is different. So the same settings here we have also should change it. So this is for from iOS 5 to 11. Okay, this is all for icon part. Resolution. The so resolution is automatic. Then debugging part. If any debugging are required, means we can enable it. Other settings uh, before executing it. So here we have to just uh, go to that. And if you want 360 stereo capture means that can be enabled. If the phone supports means we can just change it to it. Uh, similarly for signing team ID, automatic signing we can provide. Then API compatibility level. So the maximum is 4.0. So if you provide a 2.0 means it goes from lower end. Then if you need a microphone location description, anything means we can directly add it to it. Then we have to target the device either for iPhone or iPad. So it is iPhone plus iPad. So both we can use at the same time architecture. It is defaultly applied. If we need AR kit support means that can also be added. So here everything is set up for iOS. The same thing we can move on for Android. So for Android also the same part only the change will be there. The color space uh, requirement, multi-threading, everything is same. Uh, if you need a 360 degree stereo capture means that can also be done over here. Then RGB white mode. then to select the version part so the version can be selected so minimum api level android 4.4 kitkat maximum is android 11 or api level 13 so the target level means to which uh, kind of devices it is accepted means automatic or the highest which has been installed so like that we can also uh, create for chrome os everything can be applied on this so finally, we can come for the publish setting. So everything is correct. Nothing to be changed. Now we can close this. So like this kind of settings we have to make. Uh, once the project being executed, we'll be showing you how it will be taken. Now if I click on that switch platform means, it will be switched to Android. take some time so now it has been switched up over there okay so 
this kind of process only here will be set as the initial purpose inside the unity 3d so this is the most important part for build settings here we can uh, new open and uh, save the project then inside the edit if you want to edit any parchment that is applied to import any package or download any package from online and uh, importing that package into the uh, unity 3d those kind of process can be applied with the help of assets then creating 3d creating empty uh, portion and uh, creating that particular effects lighting audio user interface camera all kinds of section and completely comes under the game object components means adding filters effects physics option for 2d and 1d the navigation again audio and video effects ui effects scripts etc then inside the window we'll be having general process for different different windows so this cannot be set as only one window uh, multiple windows also can be accessed in uh, 2018 and 19 versions thank you for watching our video 